boss man Lau, you told me you didn't have a family. That's correct. This girl is not my daughter. What? Mr. Beifong, how could you say such a thing? Liar! Wait, so he really is your dad? Satoru, mind your own business! Haven't you screwed up enough for one day? Get everybody back to work! That, uh, everybody you're referring to? They fled the building. We just had an earthquake, remember? Everybody's scared. Plus, the production line is... Well... I'm gonna need more time to get it up and running again. A lot of time. BOTH product lines out of commission?! Uh, I'm not sure. The Bender's line might still be okay. Then you tell those cowards outside if they want their jobs, they will get back to work! I can replace every single one of them within the hour! We've got deadlines to meet! Yes, Uncle. Father. Guards, escort this confused young lady and her friends out of here. Guards. Father! Water. Earth. Fire. Air. You heard the man. So you want to do this the easy way or the hard way? Avatar Aang? Aren't we leaving? The man in charge said we have to go and not come back. No! We're not leaving until I talk to somebody about the location of this refinery. We're not leaving until I talk to my dad! I didn't realize being an air acolyte meant I had to break so many rules. I know. It's kind of crazy. Crazy exciting! You fellas need some backup. The more the merrier. Alright then. The hard way it is. We need to get them out of the building. Away from the workers. That's a whole lot of big burly men. You guys sure we want to do this? Rawr! Toph, can you create a slide beneath their feet? You got it. Bah, bah. So, uh, I guess that's a yes to the big burly men question? Air Acolytes, this is gonna get messy. Find someplace safe and wait for me there. But we want to help. We want to break some more rules! No, guys! Just go! Ah! I don't think we met before. You new to the Rough Rhinos? I had no choice but to join them. I used to make a good living serving in Fire Lord Ozai's army. But then you had to ruin everything! What the... So, what's your name? Utor. Nice to meet you, Utor. A little advice? Find some other group to join. The Rough Rhinos are bad news. You're gonna regret picking this fight, little girl. Hey! Watch it with that thing! Yikes. Toph, no! Toph, you gotta be more careful! Thanks, Avatar. Now I'm gonna feel guilty for doing this. Yikes. Oh, pipe down for a second. I need to talk to my friend. We do just enough to stop them. Nothing more. He could have been hurt. I almost got cut in half by one of his knife thingies. And you're worried about him? He would have landed in a bush somewhere. That must have been hard for you, seeing your dad after all this time. But we can still fight these guys with an inner calm. Ugh. Will you stop talking to me like that? Like what? I'm not one of your little acolyte kids, all right? I'll fight the way I want. <laughs> Was that supposed to hurt? I've used chopsticks thicker than your arms, boy. You really think you can beat me? Nope. Hey, come back here and fight. No thanks. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> What'd I tell you about those ice savages, Yelu? 
They're as cowardly as they are primitive. But I had those guys. Will you please just follow me? I've got an idea. Saddle up, boys. It's hunting season. Brilliant idea, Sokka. First, we'll let them get on their Komodo rhinos, and then we'll let them chase us to a dead end. They're coming right at us. Of course they're coming right at us. We're sitting turtle ducks. Shut up and jump! Oh. Sokka, what has gotten into you? Hey, sis. What's that over there? A river. What kind of game are you kids playing at? The kind where you bozos are in big trouble. So a little water bending supposed to scare us. You forget who you're up against. We're the rough rhinos. <laughs> Don't worry, kitties. I'm not gonna hurt you. I think he's lying. I think you're right. Make way, my acolyte sisters! Make way! You! No! Jingbo! Stop! What were you planning to do? Smoosh him with the forklift? Jingbo, you're an air acolyte now. So, no smooshing bad guys? No smooshing bad guys. Well, at least not all the way. Aww, uh, but I thought we were supposed to break the rules. <gasps> Let this be a lesson to you, kitties. Never have a conversation when you're in the middle of a fight. What? No, this isn't possible. What? You haven't heard? I invented metal bending. What the heck were you thinking, Ericolites? Jingbo could have taken care of him with the forklift. He could have chased him clear to the ocean. But, but we didn't want to risk injuring him too badly. We're following the precepts of Air Nomad philosophy. Those precepts were created a long time ago when the world was completely different by people who aren't around anymore. You guys have got to stop worshipping the past and start worrying about right now. Otherwise, you're not going to have a right now to worry about. I'm so confused. Acolytes! I thought I told you to leave. We... we were going to, but... Avatar Aang... We came today because we want to learn the Air Nomad traditions. We're not leaving until we've properly celebrated Yang Chen's festival. You know what? You're right. Let's do it then. I guess the next step would be the ceremonial meal. The meadow isn't here anymore, but we can make do. Toph, you're welcome to join us. Join you guys in a fuddy-duddy ritual so I can eat the most tasteless food in the history of food? I can think of about a million things I'd rather do. Don't mind her, Air Acolytes. Don't worry, we won't. I'm sorry, everybody, but we need to pick up the pace to make up for the other production line's losses. After everything that's happened, it's hard to concentrate. I know, but my uncle's really worried about deadlines. Just do your best, okay? I think we're past the worst of it. <sighs> I'm here to talk to my dad. That way. Hey, Momo! You're just in time for the food! Monk Yatso and I used to always sit beneath this giant leafy tree for our meal. If I remember right, this tree was right about... here. I'm sorry, Avatar Aang. No, it's... I mean, what I expect. It was such a long time ago. And maybe we can still celebrate in the same spot. Even if the spot's now indoors. Looks like this is a restaurant. Let's go in and ask. The menu's kind of weird. Cabbage soup? Cabbage noodles? Cabbage cookies? Yuck! Ugh. Who'd want to eat a cabbage cookie? Hello? Ah! Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. No, no. That earthquake left me a little jumpy. But luckily, my lovely cabbages were unharmed. I told you a restaurant would be safer than a cart, didn't I, my lovely? <clears throat> oh, yes. How can I... <gasps> it's you! 
bad things always happen to my poor cabbages when you're around. Really? Are you sure you don't have me confused with someone else? No! Would it be alright if my friends and I ate a meal in here? Well, business has been slow. I suppose so. But you must keep all bad things far, far away from my cabbages. I'll do my best. Ta-da! Just one more request. Would you mind if we ate the food we brought? Unconscionable. I'm trying to run a business here. You're going to have to order at least one dish. That's fair. Give us your house special. A plate of cabbage cookies coming right up. Here you go. Fresh from the oven. Enjoy. Only more... Mmm... Cabbagey. <laughs> Toph, wait up! You won't be able to find Boss Man Lao's office on your own. Let me take you there. You sure? Aren't you afraid you're gonna get in trouble with your uncle? I wouldn't want you to have to grovel again. What's wrong with me respecting my uncle? There's a big difference between showing respect and acting like a sniveling flunky. You... You don't know anything, Toph. You think you do, but you don't. When I really needed him, he was there for me. For that, I'll be grateful to him for the rest of my life. Plus, he's my uncle. You understand? My family. That's Boss Man Lao's office. See you around. So you're Ye Lu, the Rough Rhino's explosives expert. Yes. And you were planning to throw a bomb at me and my sister. Yes. But then my sister froze you. Yes. Now you probably want me to get rid of the bomb before it blows off half your arm. Yes. Please. Even though you were trying to kill us not ten minutes ago? Yeah. Yes. Fine. It's up! <laughs> 